Hey guys, it's Jessica from Peace Love Books, and today I'm here with the start of my historical romance reading vlog. I am very excited, though, this week. It's not off to a good start. <laughs> I'll get into that in a second, but I am excited to read historicals all week. I've already finished one. It's uh, 1230 on Monday, and I finished a book already because I started the audiobook yesterday, and then I'm an hour into another audiobook, and I started a physical book. So my goal is to read at least seven books this week. I have a lot on audio and a lot physically I want to read. We'll see if I get to it. I did finish a Cat Sebastian book, and I don't remember the title. It's long. I'll put it here. I gave it three and a half stars. I really love the romance. Our two heroes, one is wealthy, the other one owns a cafe, and he's a former highwayman. So it is a class difference romance. That's what I'm counting it as for the challenge. And and the wealthy one wants to steal something from his father that belonged to his mother because he's being blackmailed by someone about his things going on in his family and so he needs someone to help him and his friend tells him about the guy who owns the cafe, Kit, the highwayman, so he is like okay and then he goes to visit him and asks him for help and he says no but then he won't let go and then they start training together and there's this whole like heist plot and I really love the romance. It was very slow burn. Kit was definitely very hesitant to fall for Percy. Percy's kind of like the playboy I guess kind of. Like he's much more like willing to go after what he wants versus Kit who's very kind of like hesitant I guess. And the plot though, the heist plot, I wasn't that impressed with and it was kind of boring for a lot of it so I gave it three and a half stars. I did end up starting The Scandal of It All by Sophie Jordan. This one, our heroine 36 and she's a widow. She's been a widow for 10 years. She has one child biologically and then stepchildren. Her stepchildren are older though and she falls for one of her stepson's friends and the stepson is the Duke from book one who was like in a coma if you read book one while the Duke was sleeping. I'm really excited to continue on with this one and then I am physically reading Stacey Reed, The Wicked Marquess so I'm very excited for that but owning a house is great but stressful. So we have skylights and they've been really dirty so we hired a company to come and clean our windows so they can get the skylights and while they were here they also do power washing so we just go ahead and ask them to power wash our house too. Well the employee power washed the skylights and broke the seal on them so water started pouring into the house from the power washer, pressure washer freaked me out and so he was like oh well it's old it's fine and I was just like are they the like are the windows fine he's like well it just broke the seal I was like okay so are the windows fine did you just like break my windows why would you pressure wash the skylight and he's like well I needed to get the and they didn't even end up getting to the skylight because then it started raining and he couldn't get on the roof and it was just like a whole big mess so now I'm paranoid it hasn't really rained since then but it's rained a little bit and nothing's come through but now we had to call some roof companies to come out and just take a look at it to see if we do need the skylights resealed and our roof is really old and last year we had a leak in it by the fan in the bathroom so we had someone fix it so we're just gonna see if we have a leak at all but then today another animal got into our fireplace if you've been following me you know that we had an animal get in there in february and the way our fireplace is designed it's like the normal ring and then like an outer ring and it got stuck in like the outer ring and it's like you can't get anything out of there so oh uh, the the animal died in there in february and there's another one in there and we got our fireplace fixed like we got it all sealed and like fixed like we had a company come out and fix it well now i'm gonna have to call that company and say can you come out here and refix what you didn't fix because there's an animal in there now it's fine. I'm just like sitting here listening to this animal stuck in my... I hear it right now. It's just stuck in my fireplace. And I was like, I heard something and I was like, no. That's not what I think it is. It's, it can't be. It is. I'm so angry. <laughs> it's fine. I have my interview with Erica Ridley at 2. So I'm just going to look forward to that and maybe just like bunker down in my bedroom so that I don't have to sit next to my fireplace and listen to this animal stuck in there. If I seem distracted, it's because my house is stressing me out. Like, so stressing me out. Like, already the skylight was, like, freaking me out. The fact that I just saw water coming, dripping from my ceiling into my house freaked me out. And now this. I just, I don't want to deal with it. I don't want to deal with it. But I have to. I'm gonna read in my room. The dogs are sleeping with my sister right now because she worked last night so of course it has to happen when she works and she works tonight so she's sleeping most of the day because she's a night shift nurse so it's fine i just love having a house so that's what's going on but we've been here for three years so the first two were just like blissful <laughs> nothing was wrong with the house it was great 
and now this so it's fine but I'm gonna go and read some and talk to you guys later hello everybody so it is like 8 30 i am upstairs with my dogs i've just been hanging out up here for a couple hours now my sister went to work and i did some like stuff for my etsy shop so i did um end up cutting fabric and then ironing stuff so i am over halfway done with the sophie jordan book and it's good but there's not a lot of like plot going on it's mostly just like about the affair she's trying to have with colin and well kind of so she wants to have an affair she's a widow and colin wants to have an affair so he like sent her flowers and he's really intrigued by her but they have to keep it a secret from his best friend who is her stepson and he's the duke i think he gets the third book and because he's like in a rut now because of what happened in the first book and she is like oh no like i can't and i saw some reviews like she is barely older than him she's like seven years older than him six years older than him he's 29 she's 35 so it's six years and it's not that big of a deal but it feels like a big deal because he's the same age as her stepson she was 18 when she married her husband so she does have a daughter though so that oh this counts as single parent too i didn't realize that for the prompt for the bingo board but it's good so far like there's definitely a connection between them i mean they've already canoodled so it's a lot of fun i'm enjoying it i don't think it's like amazing amazing because there's no other side plot going on it's just the plot of her wanting to have an affair with someone so it's good it's going by super fast so it's only in a seven and a half seven hours and 45 minute audiobook so i'm really booking through that i'll definitely finish it tomorrow morning so i think i have three and a half hours left but i am 30 pages into this her wicked marquess by stacy reed it's so good so far the meet cute is really fun and it's at her parents ball she's a wallflower so this counts as a wallflower trope for the bingo board and she thinks he's her brother and she's trying to pull a prank on like the mean girl who's the diamond of the season diamond of the first water or whatever like the prime girl of the season and she's a wallflower but she the the girl who's like the diamond she is awful and like we saw her be awful to people so she does something to her and like her brother's supposed to help her the marquess stole her brother's mask because he's like trying to break into her house he's trying to figure something out about her family so it's very interesting so far she though wants to be ruined because she is betrothed to someone so she doesn't like him so i'm really enjoying this i'm gonna read some more i was doing some window shopping on ebay putting a couple of offers on some things we'll see i don't need more historicals but i did so i might go to half price books this week too because i really just want to look at historicals and browse and buy so that's all i have though i'm gonna read more of this tonight and i'll update you probably when i'm done with the Sophie Jordan book. Hi, so it is currently 1240 on Tuesday. I finished another audiobook today, which I'll talk about. I've had kind of a busy day, so this morning I called someone who works with like animal removal and like making sure animals can get in your house. Came out literally at 11, I called him at 8. Came by at 11, he was so nice, and he was like, oh, I know exactly what the problem is, I'll fix it. And I was talking to him, I was really annoyed. I was like, we had this problem already. No one told us that like, that was the issue and fixed it, because like we had our fireplace repaired, but they like sealed the fireplace, and the fireplace guy was like, legally, I'm not allowed to touch that part of the fireplace, because he said, to fix it, you have to get a new fireplace. And I was like, no, <laughs> like that's like over five thousand dollars to get a brand new fireplace put in like it's so expensive and i was like no way they like sealed everything and put a new cap on and everything and we were like we thought that fixed it and the fireplace guy was like no because he came yesterday so called the animal people and then i was paranoid i was like am i hearing noises above our garage because our house it was made in the 80s it creaks sometimes and so i was sitting in there and i had my sister listen when she got home from work because of course she's working during this whole thing so she either wakes up to things that i happen in the house that i hear or she gets home to things so I feel bad stressing her out while she's working, but I'm glad I've been home for all of this and I don't have to like leave her to deal with it all while I'm at work. But I was like, are there noises coming from above our garage? So I told the guy, I was like, can you just check for me for peace of mind? And so he checked and there wasn't anything. He's like, it looks there was a raccoon at some point up here. And I was like, excuse me. But then he showed me, he also checked around the house. He's like, I will look and see if there's any other way like animals can get in, no problem. And then he showed me where previous owners had put a steel plate over an opening near the garage and he's like yeah this is probably where that got in so you don't have a problem and i was like thank 
god like now i feel fine i was like anxious all morning trying to read my stacy read book and unfortunately we still have that burden the fireplace how our fireplace is designed even this guy said it's got like two cylinders and it gets in between those two and there's literally no way to get it out unless you pull out the entire fireplace um i'm not gonna spend thousands of dollars to save a bird i'm sorry so it's just stuck in there again like it was in february so we're on day two technically it's been like 24 hours so we still probably have 48 hours to go with that i might go to my parents house i don't know i just don't like to deal with that so that's why i'm upstairs but i did finish my sophie jordan audiobook and i'm giving it four stars i talked to jen from the book refuge and lisa from remarkably lisa and i think we all like agreed we gave this four stars um there was a miscarriage infertility plot which jen pointed out one of her pet peeves and i realized like yeah i didn't really love that about it i'm gonna get a little spoilery here so i'll put a spoiler warning but with this book she had three miscarriages i think with her previous husband and she did have a daughter but then she was told she could never have children again after her other two miscarriages and then like as soon as she had a relationship with Colin she gets pregnant and at first she's like well it's because he's so strong and young and I was like okay Jen pointed out like she doesn't like the infertility plot to be like oh now you have a magic baby and like everything's great and you can have your happy liver after like a couple doesn't need that and I guess like that's what I don't want to say the book so it's kind of a spoiler but another book had done that I don't like it when a character is infertile and then miraculously to have a baby and they get to be happy and in love and it's like the baby doesn't mean you have to be happy and in love you can like be happy and in love with your stepchildren and your child you already have and still find happiness with your partner and so I guess like I could see that being kind of frustrating with the plot line but I did really enjoy the story overall I liked when it came out about their relationship because you knew it would and how like everybody would react in society they were only six years apart but everyone acted like it was like a huge number and I was like okay but the other way around nobody cared that she married some guy that was like 20 30 years older than her so okay but overall it was fun I did start Anna Harrington's audiobook and this one's a lot of fun so they meet at like a scandalous mask ball do how often did these like scandalous events happen where people do you know things <laughs> it just feels like it's in a lot of historicals because even at the beginning of the Sophie Jordan she was at like a club for pleasure and uh that's where Colin was and they had to like act like they were together to like distract the brother so he didn't see who it was kind of thing it was like a whole big thing but they were the, the beginning of the Anna Harrington book they're at that party and he, they're in a mask ball though and he sees her and he's like oh who is this and he kind of like saves her from an unwanted advancement from a man and he's like oh I know this woman though she sounds so familiar and I guess they had a relationship when they were younger I believe and she's trying to figure something out I don't remember right now because now I have the Stacey Reed book stuck in my head because in the Stacey Reed book which is her wicked Marquess um, he's trying to track down these men who wronged someone that he loved when he was younger and she is now trying to get out of a marriage so I'm interested to see how his plot line turns out like if he figures out who that I think he's figured out who the three guys are because he's trying to like ruin their lives and I think I he's trying to figure out who that fourth guy is but that's how my reading's going so I do have a haircut today I'm gonna get a bunch chopped off so because I have vacation coming up and I like to chop it off I like to get it like you know shorter right above my collarbone I think is where I'll get it I love it when I have short hair in the summer so I'm excited for my haircut we have someone gonna give us an estimate to see when we need a roof replaced and how our skylights are doing today between uh 10 and 2 and it's already 12 45 and no one's come so we'll see but then i can relax up here and not have to go downstairs but i'm going to continue reading physically and just hang out up here and ignore everybody hey guys it is wednesday i got my hair cut chopped a lot off i really love the length now i am just waiting on a roofing company to come out to give us an estimate on our roof we had one yesterday and now we have one today it's been raining and our skylights have been fine so hopefully our skylights are okay until we can get like that permanently fixed i did end up taking my dogs on a walk this morning and then i took a day off of exercise but I was sewing a lot today I went to Joann's and I found some really cool hocus pocus fabric that I'm really excited about but I did end up finishing um, an unexpected Earl by Anna Harrington and I really enjoyed the end so the beginning was really slow it was kind of hard to get into but it's a second chance romance it really reminded me of again the magic by Lisa Kleypas because they were really in love when they were teenagers and then her dad found out and pretty much banished him and now they're reconnecting he's an Earl he was like a long-lost relative of this Earl that died 
died so he never expected to become an earl he was just like a normal person he went into the military and she her parents are dead and so it's just her brother and her and she had a secret and there were there's like a secret society going on there's a lot of secrets in here but I really love the last like half of this book I couldn't put it down there were so many twists and turns so I'm giving it four stars I really didn't care for the first half but the second half like I said it was so good I really like the romance but I really just like the whole mystery secret society plot happening especially like when we learned what some people were doing it was a lot of fun I liked it so much better than book one and I'm excited that book three it comes out soon or it's already just come out I don't remember if it came out already it's a pink cover it's really pretty a couple people have already read it but I really am glad that I picked that up but I do have always and forever by Beverly Jenkins on audio so I'm gonna listen to that audiobook next I do have to film a video I sat down and realized I never charged my battery so I am charging it now so that I can film it as my favorite books of 2021 so far and it's gonna be up before this goes up so check that out if you haven't yet and then I'm still making my way through Stacy Reed's books it's just I've been like so stressed out that it's hard for me to focus reading physically so I'm gonna hopefully finish that today that's my goal and then pick up Grace Calloway next and then I think I really want to get to Lorraine Heath's book after that so those are my plans for physically reading but I'm power throwing audiobooks I've only finished audiobooks so far and I've already finished three so that's how I do a lot of my reading but I'm gonna go ahead and try to get this video filmed and then read more Anna Harrington I am reading my the Duke and I are to be married shirt which I love and I have to take my picture for Instagram for our challenge today but that's my update for you Hi everybody, so it is currently, my bun is never as high anymore because my hair is so short, it doesn't go that high, but it is um, Thursday, so I just been up to you once a day so far for this reading vlog, and I'm still not done with this book. I have just been so distracted lately thinking about things like the status of my house, and then yesterday I was just very uh stressed out about the signing i'm going to in february i'm going to the nashville music city with the bell signing and they posted their author list and they only posted like 20 authors initially and it i wanted to see like two people on that list and i'm like am i gonna take a day off of work and go all this way get a hotel room and everything for two authors i was so disappointed because they're supposed to have so many amazing people like tilly cole was supposed to go penelope douglas they still aren't going those two which is fine but they finally added more so like kennedy ryan's now going gianna darling's now going and who else was i excited for sierra simone nikki sloan like now there are so many really good authors that i'm excited for but like why post that initial list that was so disappointing and then like by the end of the day they had like double the amount of authors they were including I feel like they could have done better because I was like freaking out in the morning and now I have to get a hotel room because my sister and my dad are going to come with me so my sister is actually going to go signing with me and our dad's just going to come and drive us <laughs> and he's going to like just hang out around Asheville on Saturday by himself but then we're going to like go to dinner together and like hang out like Friday night too like all together so it'll be a lot of fun just a dad and the girls trip leave mom at home with all the dogs but that's what's been taking up my mind lately so I still have like 150 pages left in this I just cannot focus on reading but I've already read three books for the readathon because of audiobooks so I think I already talked to you about the Sophie Jordan and the Anna Harrington I don't remember if I talked to you about the Anna Harrington I ended up loving the ending and I started Always and Forever by um, Beverly Jenkins. I was just looking at my um, library to see what audiobooks they had by Beverly Jenkins and there's this one. I've never seen anybody talk about this one. It's so good so far. Our heroine is a banker and she was supposed to get married and the guy fell in love with someone else and so he's like I'm calling it off and so she's super embarrassed but she's like 29 I think and so she's gonna help a bunch of women be mail order brides for this place in Texas of a bunch of people because they need wives and so she's like hey anybody want to go down to Texas and get married and so she's taking like a group of women <laughs> to Texas to get married she's from Chicago and she needs to hire someone on a coach to take her because they can't take the train because of Jim Crow they're saying like people are racist and will like really ruin their journey trying to get there and she doesn't want to risk that that. so she is gonna hire a coach and like nobody wants to take him and so the hero she confronts him at a brothel which was hilarious and he's gonna take them and his like one rule is you have to listen to me I am the like coach master whatever he was called 
He's like, you're gonna listen to me. You can't make all the decisions because you're so hard-headed and annoying. And it's so fun so far. I'm really enjoying it. I'm only like two and a half hours in because I just listened to it while I worked out this morning. It was raining, so I just did a leg and ab video in my basement and I didn't get to walk my dogs. So I didn't listen to it as much. And then I went to my parents' house today, ran some errands because we're leaving for vacation in a week. So I had some stuff to get. And I went to Half Price Books and got a couple historicals. I was wearing this sweatshirt and then the cashier was like, Oh, perfect sweatshirt for your book shopping today because I bought three historicals when I was there with her and it was just, it was funny. So yeah, I might show you what I bought. I don't know. I bought a Megan Frampton and a, I don't remember the author's name. She's a forever romance author and then an old school one that I'm excited for. So I'll show this to you. And a Samara Parrish, I think she just published a new book with Forever and I bought it while we were at Walmart. So I'm excited for that. But yes, my plans are to read a lot of this. I want to finish it tonight. I don't think I will. I'm still 150 pages to the end. But the US soccer game's on tonight against Mexico, the women's game. I'm obsessed with women's US soccer. If you didn't know, it's so good. I'm excited. Uh, the World Cup was amazing. <laughs> amazing and i'm excited to see their journey to the olympics but i'm very excited about the roster that came out i'm intrigued to see who they will start because i definitely have my favorites but yeah i've been talking too long but i'm gonna read some probably edit a video and watch some soccer what are you doing thank you good morning she just woke up from a nap you did my baby yes okay Hey everybody, so I'm here with Lily. Darcy just got down right there. Uh, it is Friday and I have a couple updates for you. I finally finished her Wicked Marquez. This one it took me five days to read. I just had a hard time getting into the beginning, but oh my gosh, the romance, just the development of the romance and how they became such close friends and then she really trusted him and they just like got super, oh, big sigh from Lily, got super close. I really loved it. I'm giving it four and a half stars. I think that the ending turns and twists were crazy and I couldn't stop reading. She's Darcy. Hopefully she doesn't do anything. Oh, the camera's on her. Hi, baby. She's adorable. But back to the book. It's going to cover her face now. Um, it was just really good and I liked it. Like the ending, I liked how he had to kind of <laughs> prove, oh my gosh, since I got my hair cut, nothing fits in my bun and I can't put my bun as high as I like to, but it's fine. I just have to go get a clip to clip up that hair in the back i love having it short it's just i miss my big buns but i liked it four and a half stars it just took a little too long to get to where i wanted it in the beginning so it took me five days to read but i'm listening to always and forever by beverly jenkins and i'm really really enjoying this one they're actually making their way to kansas and he's trying to get to texas so that's i messed that up before but i'm over halfway through and they've already like established they like each other but then he kind of pushed her away because they've been kind of training to to leave for their trip so they like all camp together and he's training them like how to deal with like the horses and like how to camp and how to get food for themselves so it's gonna be a really long trip and so so they did all that and now they're actually like on their way to Kansas so we'll see if they make it and they are kind of making up now which is cute and I just really like this romance so far it's really intriguing it's fairly interesting taking like this whole trail of mail order brides to where her cousin lives so that they can the women even like pick their husbands she's like here's all their portraits and all about them go pick who you want to marry so it's a lot of fun I really like it it's really cute the romance is cute because they kind of butt heads in the beginning because she's so hard-headed and then he's like you have to listen to me and their meet cute was so fun so I'm really enjoying this and I can't wait to read more I have to go so for my Etsy shop though right now this morning I was doing a training for school we have to do this like water training every few years like they rotate departments who have to do it and I had to do it this year again and they did it online this time though but it's like self-paced so I had to do that and I just wanted to get out of the way so I did that all this morning so that's all done though off my plate which is good I just filmed a video and now I can read and Lisa's uh, interview with Lenora Bell is tonight so it's super exciting and then we have two days left so I am gonna start Olivia and the Mass Duke tonight hopefully get a lot of that done I was gonna see Fast and Furious today with my sister but I just had so much to get done and she works tonight so we're gonna see it on Monday instead the new Fast and Furious we haven't been able to see it yet because my sister was working a lot and I've just been so busy trying to get things done and it would have been just like back-to-back -back things that I wanted to get done today if we went and saw the movie too so we are not but that's okay we're gonna see it on Monday I'm excited to see the new Fast and Furious movie I love Fast and Furious so it should be good. We just rewatched the last one a couple days ago. And we have Loki to catch up on. So we, I know we're going to watch an episode of that. But then I have to mow the lawn. So I'll probably listen to my audio while I mow the lawn. And then read tonight with my babies. They're so cute. I love them so much. I feel like I haven't shown them enough in this vlog. You never miss Lily. You okay? You're just going to sit there. Okay. 
I love you. You love me. <laughs> you just want to go see. Okay. I know you guys all love my frizzies when you get these reading vlogs, but hello. I'm trying to get like no glare from my, no shadow from my camera, but it is Friday evening and I just got done watching Lisa's Live with Lenore Bell. It was super cute. I really want to read Love is a Rogue now. Really want to read that. But I finished the, um, Beverly Jenkins book and it was so fun. I wish more people read her backlist. Like I only, I started with her most popular books but now I'm trying to read ones that not a lot of people talk about like Always and Forever. And it was really cute. I will say like the ending wasn't my absolute favorite because they're both so stubborn and hard headed that you knew their stubbornness was gonna drive them apart and it did. So I did give it four and a half stars because like the hero's decisions I'm like, don't do that. I don't, I can't like explain why without spoiling things, but overall I really, really loved it. I really liked their journey, like taking these mail order brides to Kansas. It was so funny and how the women really like bonded and worked together together successfully and learned how to do all this hard work. It was really cool. So four and a half stars rounded up to five on Goodreads. I really liked it. The romance did get a little frustrating at the end, but I knew that like there had to be a conflict of some sort. And I appreciated it though, because it was not like her others where they're like married and in love halfway through and then dealing with other things. Like it actually progressed and like took the whole book in order for them to be happy. I also lost my scrunchie and I have no idea where it went. It might have left fallen out after I mowed the lawn because I did mow the lawn and that's why I finished this book. I started a Donna Fletcher historical. It is book two after Bound to a Warrior. I don't remember what this one's called, but it's for the Scottish category. I really love historicals that have some sort of like curse element and our heroine is like a black widow or something black bride widow bride i don't remember what her title is but she is cursed and like every man who gets close to her or like supposed to marry her will die so two men have already died one on the night before their wedding and one literally like a second after they said i do like he died so they say she's cursed and she's trying to run away our hero is the brother of the hero in book one and so i don't even know like what he was trying to like find something he's like looking for something i don't even remember but but he's coming back home and runs across her and decides to escort her home and she's like okay but like you can't touch me you can't like get close to me because i'm gonna curse you like my curse is gonna whatever like come upon you and so he's like yeah whatever and so they obviously like each other and they're traveling together and all of course we have like spend the night in an abandoned cottage together i love that trope in historicals it's just so good and so they he's bringing her back to his his own place and he's like well you can make a new life there like no one has to know that you're cursed no one has to know anything you can just like find a nice man and be happy but she's like well i'm cursed i can't find a nice man because back where she was everyone knew she was cursed and they were really mean to her and rude to her and like did stuff with her food and everything so she had to like really uh, be on her own and so she might start over but it's good so far I'm really enjoying it actually and I feel like Donna Fletcher's are more lighthearted than like I guess the covers might seem I feel like I don't know what I was expecting from them but I was surprised by how lighthearted and not angsty the romance was it was just very sweet and I feel like that's what this one's gonna be too so Darcy's demanding we go read upstairs so I'm gonna go upstairs and start Olivia and the Mass Duke can you see her come by and there she is <laughs> I'm gonna start the Grace Calloway book and hopefully get a good chunk of that read tonight. Oh, it's Miss Lily. She's hanging out here. I just sat down to film this. I just finished filming a video for next week, but I, it's Saturday. I spent, I'm still, it's focusing on Lily and not my face. There we go. I know she's just so cute. The camera wants her. But I spent a lot of my day sewing for my Etsy shop. I have really fun Hocus Pocus fabric going up, which I'm very excited for. But I finished my Donna Fletcher book, the Scottish book. And I'm giving it four stars. I really enjoyed it. Just like the first one, it seems very not like complicated it's just oh she's cursed he likes her he helps save her brings him back her back to his keep and then they're just living there and then it's still like they are trying to overthrow the king and so one of the four of them is going to be king like the new king but we don't know which one of the four is i don't think we know maybe we do i don't remember i think i have an idea i don't know because there's like some prophecy thing and like i said i really like romances with like a whole curse kind of plot line so that was a lot of fun but she did get a little annoying by how much she was like no we can't be together we can't be together the curse is gonna kill you and he's like but i love you like it's fine we'll make it work we'll figure it out and she was so adamant not but i get it because she'd already killed two guys because of her curse so overall it was a lot of fun though i really like the twist about 
her that happened also so i just really enjoyed listening to this i listened to it over the past 24 hours and it got through it really quickly so i would definitely recommend this if you're in the mood for a scottish romance it had less of like the traveling that the first one did i feel like because it wasn't even halfway through as like they were traveling the whole time i think the other one had a lot more travel and i was kind of over the travel so i like this one better than book one i also started a amelia gray book that lisa recommended and i'm already halfway through and it's really fun our heroine's brother died through a he was like drunk and they had a bet and they were gonna like race their carriages and he died in a crash and so he had the duke promise him or like the duke to be who's now the duke promise him to marry his sister to take care of all five of his sisters and the duke says yes because he was like pressured into saying yes because he's like literally on his deathbed and he doesn't and it's been two years now and he kind of goes to see them because they're in town because it's the second oldest is going to come out in society and the heroine i feel like i could call her spinster because she has given up the chance to marry just to take care of her sisters they have a new uh, chaperone that's gonna help them and she's nuts and they're coming out in society and he asks her to marry him and she's like no and so it's their romance but now he's being really pressured to marry her from the king the prince the princes it's so fun so far he's like really playing with her and they're very attracted to each other but she's adamant that she can't and i love her sisters i love the whole sisterhood bond that they all have it's super cute so i'm enjoying this i'm halfway through i'm also 50 pages into this and i'm really enjoying it though she's 19 and he's 30 one thirty-two, huge age gap he saved her life from falling into like an icy lake and she's been infatuated with him ever since but he's seen her more as a sister but then oh, i guess he's not seeing her as a sister and so she makes the moves on him and he's like no so that's where it's at so far it's a lot of fun i'm excited to read more but those are the updates i have for you i'm gonna watch low-key with my sister hang out with miss lily wear my highlander romance sweatshirt and just have a fun saturday Hey guys, happy 4th of July. It is Sunday. I am closing out this vlog. I did like a clip a day for this vlog, so it wasn't my best reading vlog, but I did end up like reading a book a day, so I guess I updated you guys like every time I had a book to finish, but I finished two things since I last talked to you, so overall, I read eight books this week. I really wanted to do more because I knew I could read really a lot of audiobooks and I read six audiobooks and two physical books. I didn't realize that it would take me that long to read the physical books, but I didn't realize the things that would happen to the house and just being stressed out about things but i did end up finishing the entirety of olivia and the mass duke today after like the 80 pages i read yesterday so i read through so much of this today i went over to my parents house for most of the day after going for a run this morning and then doing a little bit for my etsy shop went to my parents around 10 spent the whole day there we had paninis for lunch we watched um independence day which we always do with my parents and then we also watched national treasure 2 so just like hanging out all day and then we had like uh cookouts like barbecue picnic stuff for uh dinner oh my gosh my battery's flashing okay i'm gonna wrap this up quick but i finished this like reading throughout the day I gave it five stars i really loved the romance i really loved how ben was just so damaged from his previous relationship because of what his wife did to him and the mind games that she played and he felt like he just needed to control olivia so much once he decided he wanted her so that like really threw a wrench in the relationship but I loved Olivia's character I loved how she was so passionate about being a spy and that whole thing at the end I loved I loved their relationship just in general I loved everything about this five out of five stars so good I can't wait to read more from Grace Calloway I'm so excited we chose this as a group book and then I finished the Duke in her bed I also gave that five stars the sisters really made the book so much like our heroine I'm blanking on her name because like, I've read a ton of books in my head right now but she was just so dedicated to her sisters that she really didn't want to marry the Duke because she didn't think he liked her sisters and then the Duke really just started to fall in love with the family as a whole and then really liked her even when they had like consummated their relationship she still was like but you aren't in it all with my family and I can't be with you and oh, I was so good I love the ending the dog was in there it was adorable five out of five stars Lisa great recommendation for me but this reading vlog I've read so many good books I don't think I gave anything three stars I think everything I read was a four or five star read which is amazing love that and I'm really excited that I really love this I've found a new historical romance author I loved and the same with I think it's Amelia Gray was the Duke in her bed as author so I really loved everything I read for this readathon I wish I read more but I did amazing on the bingo board I think I just didn't get like two squares so this is great we're gonna about to have our live show soon in about half an hour so I'm gonna chat everything historical with Lisa and Lacey and that's all I have let me know what you read this week and what your favorites are and make sure you follow Lisa and Lacey as well for historical romance content I know that Jessen also posted her vlog so I'm excited to watch that but that's all I have I hope you enjoyed this vlog sorry it wasn't as updated 
with my reading as I normally am, but yeah. As always, thank you so much for watching. Have a good day.